Zilani, you've also been watching the Denmark-Tunisia match. That's wrapping up, I think. Tell us about that and then give us a, a flavour of uh, the mood there ahead of the France-Australia match. That's right. Uh, it's a bit of a surprise, really, that this ended as a goalless uh, draw. The Tunisians are uh, putting out a really uh, solid showing against the Danes. The Danes uh, who were billed as one of the dark horses coming into this competition. But it was really Tunisia that showed more creativity and uh, imagination. They started uh, the far more lively side. They were roared on by a sea of Tunisian fans who celebrated every challenge and clearance as if they had well uh, scored their best uh, opportunity came uh, just on the stroke of half time with uh, Issam uh, Jibali uh, raced onto a ball and uh, forced a excellent one handed save by the keeper Kasper uh, Smeichel for Denmark. Uh, the second half was uh, just as a lively start as the first one for the Tunisians and uh, though there was the Danes who probably came closest in the second half uh, with uh, a shot by their star midfielder Christian Eriksen which forced another good save uh, this time by the Tunisian uh, goalkeeper who uh, uh, flicked, uh, pushed the ball up uh, over the crossbar. Uh, so this is really a big result uh, for the Tunisians uh, here this evening. They are uh, trying, they're bidding to get out of the group stages in the World Cup for the first time in their history. And of course, uh, this uh, game this evening also has implications uh, for the reigning World Cup champions France as they kick off uh, their campaign this evening to retain their World Cup title against the Australians as they did uh, back in 2018. Uh, Le Bleu have really had a setback after setback before even kicking a ball in this competition. Obviously, the latest blow being Karim Benzema, who is out injured. Uh, he is uh, just the latest name on a long list of injuries uh, for the French squad. Uh, Paul Pogba, Engolo Conte, Presnel Kimbepe and uh, Christopher Nkuku. Though Didier Deschamps has made it very clear that he has a lot of confidence in this group of players with uh, a lot of uh, young generation players who are making their debut at the World Cup now having to step up. Uh, it would be a real shock this evening if Le Bleu didn't manage to get a win against Australia, uh, who are featuring in their consecutive fifth World Cup. OK, thanks very much, Selena. We'll leave it there. Good luck tonight.